It's that, it's that awareness, that heart-centered awareness beyond the program, beyond body-mind, that we need to connect with, we need to become part of, because it's the true self anyway, and bring that in an expression in the way we live our lives into this program. That will dissolve the program and start to manifest that reality here. That's all it is. We don't need minutes and committees. I don't even really need vast protests. We need to transform the reality by becoming another reality and expressing that reality within this one. This reality will not survive that energetic onslaught of the natural order, of truth, of love, of peace. It won't. We want a world of love and peace, then we have to be loving and peaceful with each other as well as those we don't like. That's it. That's it. It's rejecting the program and rejecting the, the impulses to follow the program and expressing our freedom, living what we want this world to be. And collectively, we will be the world that we want it to be. It's that simple. It's about breaking down all the pretenses, all the lies that we've been fed, rejecting them, coming to our own conclusions through the heart. This great quote from uh, Osho, the awakened man and woman. People are afraid, very much afraid of those who know themselves. They have a certain power, a certain aura. Why? Because they're accessing high frequency vibrational energy awareness information. They have a certain power, a certain aura, and a certain magnetism. A charisma that can take out alive young people from their traditional imprisonment. The awakened man or woman can, cannot be enslaved. That is the difficulty, and he cannot be imprisoned. The awakened man is the greatest stranger in the world. He does not seem to belong to anybody. No organization can find him, no community, no society, no nation. That is the revolution. The revolution of freedom, of being our unique self without permission from anybody. Who's got to give me permission to be me? I don't need it, thank you. I am what I am, I shall express it. I am me, I am free. You cannot stand fully in the truth of your being as long as you continue to demand acceptance, approval and validation from people outside of yourself. Be willing to piss people off if it means standing up for your truth of who you are. They told me 25 years ago, you're finished. No way out of this, no way back from here. It's all over. What are you gonna do with the rest of your life? It's over, you can't go any further after all that frickin' ridicule. Watch me. We don't have to compare ourselves with other people. We are our unique self. We have nothing to compare with. He's got more money, he's got that, he's more famous. Who gives a shit? I am my unique self. It doesn't matter. As long as I express my unique self, I am in my power. I don't need to be anyone else. I am me. I am unique. I am a unique point of attention within an infinite reality. We all are, but we forget that. As Gino Christomurdi said, we are always comparing what we are with what we should be. We are what we are. Let's express what we are, celebrate what we are. And then the uniqueness, the spontaneity of expressing uniqueness will break the program, which is about suppression of uniqueness and oppression and conformity. We are the revolution if we cease to conform with traditional programmed, this is how you do it, reality. All the great changes of society and changes of anything, the great visionaries, all of them, have been ones that have walked out of the program and taking the shit for doing so. Because out of the program is the only way you're gonna push on in terms of understanding what life is about, who we are, and where we're coming from. The greatest fear in the world is the opinions of others, and the moment you are unafraid of the crowd, you are no longer a sheep. You become a lion, and a great roar rises from your heart, 
the roar of freedom of being you and not someone else's version of you. Come out of the masses, stand alone like a lion and live your truth according to your own light, not someone else's version of it. Expressing our uniqueness is a revolution that will change everything because the program depends on that not happening. It is better to live one day as a lion than a hundred years as a sheep. What's the point? Doing what is right, no matter what you are told, is the spirit of change. Because if you don't do that, you're just operating within the circle and nothing changes. You have to step out of the circle and do what you believe to be right rather than what you are told to do, to break out of the program, out of the circle, and thus move society forward. Oh, it's so simple expressing our uniqueness. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. That's how you change the world. That's how you change the world. It's the only way. Ja! And you find you can fly. Doesn't mean there ain't challenges, but my God, you find your life changes and it becomes the adventure and not the chore.